queen you always keep it g for me y'all drake was in his bag when he made this okay like this is like a very violent song but like i'm playing it anyway <laughs> channel if you're new here my name is Z so welcome to the channel welcome back if you are a returning subscriber so today's video y'all is going to be like a little self-care moment but also too I'm going to be doing like a little mini haul for like um kind of like self-care but also to like body products like hygiene products basically so yeah I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up from Walgreens and also to um I had got a few things from like family dollars so I'll show you guys that in a few minutes but I was about to um start this video right and then i was like okay i can do like a little mask or whatever too but then i was like i should go out to get some wine from the store i kind of waited too late to go to the store because i didn't plan on really drinking wine tonight i had drunk some last night but i had just got back from the store or whatever it's like currently 17 y'all but it's like pitch black dark it's almost like it's 10 o'clock at night like i'm still trying to adjust to this like timing situation it's just like why is it so dark so early but like, it just doesn't make any sense okay but um and then like my windows was taking so long to like unfog or whatever so i was like driving down the road like could barely see but i made it back safely so yeah um <laughs> we're about to get into the little mini haul um I do have on makeup today but I'm gonna remove my makeup and then I'll show you guys how I do my little mask my mud mask um and then we're gonna drink some wine I did kind of film a little bit in the grocery store too y'all it was like a little some little b-rolls in the grocery store um from my phone but yeah I'm, I may add those clips in I'm not really sure but yeah let's get into the little mini haul i'm gonna show you guys like some new hydrating products that i did get so i went to walgreens not today y'all i was trying to think like when did i go to walgreens it was like literally the other day but it's like i could not remember i'm not really sure what happened with my timing and my brain but like i went to walgreens recently i think it was like friday if i'm not mistaken Cause I've used some of the stuff since then. I feel like it was Friday that I went to Walgreens. Yeah. Cause I remember I had got some wine too from there. Cause I was trying to keep from like going to the grocery store. Cause it was like really crowded and I just ain't had the time to be waiting around or whatever. So I was like, let me just go to Walgreens and see like what type of like hygiene stuff they got. Cause it's been like a little minute since I've actually bought in some like new hygiene stuff. And it was just time you know to like replenish my hygiene products basically so here's my little bag right here from walgreens y'all so the first thing that i got um so some of the stuff i wasn't even planning on getting y'all but the main thing that i did really go in there to um to look for because i really needed some more like feminine wash um, the one that I do have, I've been using this one. I had ordered this from off of Amazon. I don't believe you can actually buy this like in the drugstore, y'all. I'm not really sure if there's like actual stores that sell this, but I did find it off of Amazon. This is the VH Essentials Feminine Wash, but um, this is what it looks like. I'm not really sure if I showed this um, on my channel before, but it has like tea tree oil and it's like a prebiotic as well but it's a daily feminine wash it works really really good um but yeah it has what else tea tree oil um the prebiotics cranberry natural extracts and more for um you know feminine health and it's like a natural um feminine wash but yeah i usually just keep this like in my shower but i literally have like a little bit left and plus i was actually um going to walgreens to see if i could find the hoodie what is it honey pot brand they did have it y'all but i seen where walgreens has their own feminine cleansing wash y'all so when i seen this one i was like okay so this is like a little cheaper too because you know honey pot is a little 
um extra coins or whatever but yeah it's a scent free feminine cleansing wash this is the walgreens brand apparently it's new but i'm not really sure like how new it is but i have used it so i think i used it like the first day at night or whatever i had got it or like the next day i can't really remember but yeah i like it so you guys could definitely check out this one but this is what it looks like i'm not really sure if they have like another one this was like the only one i seen but yeah it's the scent free feminine cleansing wash it says dye free and of course it's supposed to like balance out your ph i'm not really sure how true that is y'all but i mean i did use it so and it's like free from parabens so yeah and it's a good size amount i believe this was like five dollars i know it was like less than ten dollars y'all it wasn't that much because it's like a walgreens brand so it's cheaper but yeah i was like let me just try this i really did want to try the honey pot one but i was like let me just try this real quick there's another thing too i had picked up i'm not really sure when i'm gonna use this y'all but it's a foot mask so it's the avino foot mask it's the repairing sicka i think that's how you say it, sicka but it's a prebiotic. All these prebiotics that I picked up, I didn't even know. But prebiotic oat and shea butter. But it helps to repair extra dry problem skin. Um, these are like slipper type of foot masks or whatever for your feet. I'm probably going to use these like tomorrow, tomorrow or something. Because my feet been like extra dry, y'all. I don't know. I guess, you know, it's winter time. So everything just like a little extra dry. So got the foot mask. And I also got two. I mainly got this for my feet, y'all. Um, I'm just trying to take better care of my feet, honestly. But I got the Tea Tree um, Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. And this is the Moroccan Rose. For some reason, I have, like, the hardest time finding, like, the different ones of these, y'all. But I know you can find them at Walmart. But sometimes people be, people just be buying them up. But I did find this thing. It smells really good, too. But it's the Moroccan Rose. It smells really, really good. I mainly just use this for my feet because I feel like since this has like a fragrance, I've been trying to stay away from like really strong fragrance type of scents like on my body because I do tend to like kind of break out um, like on my back and in my shoulders and stuff. Even my arms too. Like my skin is like very sensitive, but I do feel like it's because of like some type of scented soaps or whatever. So I've been trying to be like really good about, you know, getting certain soaps that don't have any scent or like just like a light scent to it so yeah i just got this for my feet and like my legs too to like exfoliate my legs but not on my chest area i just use like exfoliating gloves for that area and it seems to work pretty pretty good so yeah okay so this other thing y'all i was a little disappointed about this because this was the last one i hate when this happens like you know how like you've looking for like a certain product right they have it in the store but the last one is always damaged i'm not really sure why that always happens but this is the thayer's um blemish clearing toner so it's this one and i'm not really sure if y'all can see it though but like it was leaking like i had to clean it up when i brought it home or whatever but i did take it to the register and i was like well do you guys have any more because like i didn't want to take home a defective one like it was leaking out and all that but um i don't know why there's been like because the guy that was helping me at the store y'all he was like an older male right and i just feel like he was kind of like flirting with me a little bit and i'm just like no um I just want to know about this and like pay for my stuff and leave but yeah i don't know why the universe um has been sending me like older men like i don't know it's like older men been like looking at me but i'm like i know i didn't ask the universe for this so i don't know why it's happening um but yeah this is the blemish clearing toner it's like a witch hazel um toner but it has aloe vera and it has 2% um, salicylic acid in it, but it's the lemon one. So it's supposed to help with like blemishes to, um, you know, for like a more even skin tone. But yeah, it smells really, really good. And I love this. I needed another toner anyway. So I just grabbed that one. And that's pretty much it for like the Walgreens, y'all. Um, haul, but I'm going to get into what I had picked up from Family Dollar. This was just like a random pickup. I forgot what I actually went in there for y'all, honestly. Sometimes that happens. I be in the store and then I end up picking up some other stuff like 
So the first thing, oh, I picked up some more toothpaste. I usually would not buy this y'all, but like we trying to whiten our teeth. So I got the Crest um, 3D White Brilliance. It's the Vibrant Peppermint. Have I used this already? I don't think I have because I still have like other toothpaste. But of course it is a whitening toothpaste. I just wanted to try the Crest one to see, you know, what it was giving. But um, I can't really tell if it works yet or not. But I did pick up some Ambi Fade Cream right here. So I picked this up from Family Dollar. But yeah, this is what I got. It's for oily skin, but it's basically to like, um, I got it mainly for my chest because I had broke out. I'm not really sure what in the world happened. And I think it was because of like fragrance, like some type of fragrance I had put on. But yeah, it kind of like broke me out right here. So I plan on putting this on here um, to kind of like fade the dark marks. And I actually have another product that I'm going to be reviewing on my channel. It hasn't came yet, but it's from a... Um, a black owned skincare company um that i'm just now trying out well this is like my first purchase from him but it's like a soap that i plan on reviewing here on my channel another thing that i got is um this palmer's cocoa butter formula body oil i just needed some more body oil because i don't use i just use like two things i'm gonna close the door i don't know i feel like i could have seen something but <laughs> walking past or something but um <laughs> yeah so i got this body oil i use lotion and body oil because sometimes the oil don't be enough and then the lotion don't be enough so you got to mix the two combine the two so yeah i got this one it smells really really good but you know you can't never go wrong with palmer's um products here so yeah got this and i got um this ponds i got two of them actually I've tried ponds before. I think it's like the blue one, but I did not know they had one. Maybe I've just been asleep, y'all. I don't know. But they have one for um, dark spot correcting cream. It's like a dark spot correcting cream. So it's supposed to even out your skin tone in two to four weeks. So y'all, I've been using it for like the past two days, like since I got it. And it's very moisturizing. I'm not really sure if, you know, it has faded anything, but we'll see like in a week or two you know i'll give you guys an update but i got two of these here so yeah that's pretty much for the haul i think that's it i feel like there could have been like one more other thing but i don't believe so i ain't buy that much stuff because i really don't be using that much stuff y'all i just needed to like replenish my little stash or whatever for hygiene stuff and plus i just wanted to try some new things out too but yeah, let's get into the mask. I got to remove my makeup real quick, but I'm going to come back on camera to um, put my mask on. Before I do the mask, y'all, I forgot I'm going to have to like <clears throat> do my whole little skincare routine. So I was like, why not just share it with you guys? Um, so yeah, I took off my makeup, but I still need to like really get the makeup off. I didn't put that much on, but it's still on there because I just used some wipes, but I like to go in with this rose hip oil. I got this from off of Amazon. It's really, really good too though. Um, I use it sometimes like as a moisturizer, but also to, to like remove my makeup. But also too, I like to do like oil cleansing. Um, so that's what I'm about to do now. But I've been doing a lot of oil cleansing lately. Um, well, I like to do the oil cleansing first and then I take like a really hot rag. I'll show you guys how I do it um and then I go in my, with my cleanser so that's how you really supposed to do like oil cleansing well that's how I do it but I like to really massage it in and I'm not really sure if you guys know about oil cleansing but you can actually see like blackheads like it just depends on what your skin is looking like but like it actually pulls out some of the blackheads which is crazy and it's kind of oddly satisfying too. Okay, so I'm about to um, wipe off this oil, but I like to use a really hot rag right here. And I never use the same rag twice. Like I just go ahead and put it into the, you know, the dirty um, rag pile or whatever. So but this really helps to like remove most of the makeup because like you can see 
where there's still some on there. There was like a whole crime scene when I was on my way to the store, which was ridiculous. I'm like, wow, I picked the perfect time <laughs> to be dropping out at night. <laughs> I'm just driving down the road right and I look over to the left I'm like wow it's like about 15 police cars um in the neighborhood near me I'm like wow what in the world happened so I was moving like a ninja at the grocery store I was like let me get in and out of here okay next time I'm gonna go in with my cleanser I've been using this cleanser a lot usually um for some reason, I've just been, like, doing my whole skincare routine in the shower, y'all. It's just much easier for me, but, like, I just leave this in the shower. So, um, when I do get in the shower, I just go ahead and just, you know, pump some on, on my hands and lather it up. I kind of leave it on there just, like, for a few minutes and then rinse it off. But, yeah, I've been using um, V. I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure, but this is the foamy um, facial cleanser for normally, normal, I say normally, what in the world? For normal to oily skin so yeah um i've been using this i really really like it their products are really good like if you um have problems with like texture y'all their products actually work like if you're struggling with like texture and stuff i just feel like my skin be like super, like so smooth from using their products i have the other one too it's like a more gentle one but i'm using this one today so i'm gonna take another clean rag like i said i never use the same rag like twice so the other one was done but i'm gonna um wipe this off usually i would not do this usually i just rinse it off in the shower or whatever but because of the video i have to do this because i'm not about to get a whole shower just to do this video but yeah, I'm just wiping this off so I can get ready for my mask. Okay, so y'all, I went into the kitchen and I mixed up my little mask. So I just used the container because I only had a little bit of this one. So this is the um, the Indian Healing Clay mask. I had purchased this. Um, I believe I had got it from off of Amazon, but I can't remember. I know this is like my second tub, like ever purchased in this one so it's really good it's a very powerful mask like you can definitely feel the tightening on your skin but i did buy another um it's not this brand but it's a bentonite clay mask i got it from off of amazon um so yeah you can kind of like use that as like a dupe or whatever because this one is like a little bit more expensive um i feel like some places definitely overcharge it you alls um for this mask and it does like the same thing as the other one that i got from off of amazon but i actually originally bought that for something else um not really like as a mask it was like something else i was making um to where i would not put liquid in it basically if that makes sense but <laughs> yeah i've been using this one like for my face and it was like time for me to do a mask y'all my skin feels like super tight right now but um, all I did was mix in some Bragg's apple cider vinegar and this is the one with the mother right here so yeah this is what I use to mix in it and tonight I am drinking some rosé I haven't had rosé in a minute but I actually don't like the way rosé smells y'all I don't know if it's just this one but I did get the cupcake brand I wanted to just try their rosé just to see what it was giving so it's okay, but I don't like the smell of it. It doesn't really even have a taste. It's kind of sweet, but like, I feel like the Moscato cupcake, that's the one. So, yeah, that's what I'm drinking um tonight. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the mask on. I wanted to listen to some music, y'all, but like, I don't want to get copyrighted. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mask real quick. I'm going to do like a thin layer, y'all, because like this stuff right here does not play. Um... You can definitely feel it like tingling, but if you need like a good detox for your skin, then you can definitely use this. I actually thought about putting it under my arms because I've seen somebody do that before, but, and I have done it before too, because I've been switching over to the natural deodorant. Um, now is like actually the perfect time to switch over to natural deodorant, y'all, because it's not the summertime. So, <laughs> listen. If you were thinking about doing it, go ahead and do it now. 
but that's what I did. Because the deodorant that I usually get is the Hello brand. I actually have it right here. But this is the brand I usually get. I have the other one too. I think it's like a charcoal one. I forgot what it's called. But the place that I usually get it from, y'all, they was playing around. Like, I guess they didn't get no ship, shipment in or whatever. So I couldn't find it. So I had to, like, resort to getting regular deodorant, which was horrible. I'm like, I don't want to wear aluminum under my arms. So yeah, I'm gonna put some of this like on my chest area where I had this breakout. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just like the weather or something. I don't know. Sometimes I do put it on, like if you get, if you break out like on your arm area right here, you can put it right here. I've done it before too. I might do that tonight. Just why not? Because I got some extra right here. And it doesn't make sense to like try to save it. Might as well just go ahead and use it. But I'm going to put it like right here. I don't know what in the world happened, but it's very annoying. I think it's because I put some type of fragrance. I think I had put like oil, like body oil right here. And it probably just like broke me out or whatever. But I can fix it, so I'm not even worried about it. Well, I can heal it. It ain't gonna happen overnight, but we got it. So yeah, I'm gonna let this dry up, y'all. And I'm gonna wait for this mask to tighten up. It's about to get very, very serious. <laughs> like, you can literally feel this thing, like, pulsating on your skin. It's kind of scary at first, y'all, but, like, you'll get used to it. Um, after a while, but this is like a very powerful mask. I highly recommend it. Um, Y'all, Drake was in his bag when he made this. Okay, like, this is like a very violent song, but like, I'm playing it anyway. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm back and I rinsed off the mask. Um, I was in here making a mess, y'all. I had dropped some of it on my white bath rug. It's already kind of dingy. I need another one anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about it. But yeah, that mask is like super messy. It depends on like how you mix it up. Mine was like a little bit on the runny side. But yeah, um, I just got done wiping off the mask and I feel like super good and refreshed, y'all. That mask is definitely so powerful. Like it just helps you, like it really just does something to your skin. My skin was like a little sensitive. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera but that's why i try not to put too much stuff like on my chest area because like it looks like super red i don't know if y'all can see it on camera but from right here it just looks like super red sometimes that happens but um my skin is like already super sensitive i did go ahead and put on my thayer's um witch hazel the toner so i use that because i've been using it lately um before i wasn't really using a toner y'all and i just like you know what girl I need to start using a toner, so that's why I had borrowed that one. But I always wanted to try the um, Thayer's toner anyway, so yeah. Um, next, I had went in with my um, Pond's Dark, what is it? Oh, Dark Spot Correcting Cream, so I put this on. But I also used to use it as a moisturizer. And then, lastly, I put on my Rose Hip Oil, so yeah. It's giving, the skin is giving, like, she's glowing, she's healing, she's taking care of herself. Like, <laughs> my skin feels so, so good. And plus, I've been drinking my water too, y'all. So, yeah, she's definitely hydrated too. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my little um self-care hygiene routine, y'all. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then definitely let me know. Um, But, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You can't be losers, set me free